First, it is about approximating the value of a given function using the sine and the cosine functions. We know that these two functions are periodic functions, meaning that after every 2 pi, they repeat themselves. So you can see that on the interval negative 2 pi to pi, the function is the same as on the interval 0 to 2 pi. And the same thing applies to the cosine function also. Now let us demonstrate what we mean by using these functions to approximate the value of a given function. Here is a function y equal x. We are trying to approximate this function using the sine function. So we graph only the first term. And this is what we have. Now as we increase the number of terms, observe what happens. Now let's approximate using the first five terms of the sine series. And you can see that it is giving us a more accurate approximation as compared to only one term. Now let us increase the number of terms to 10. So using the first 10 terms, we are getting more accurate results. And if we increase to the first 17 terms, this is what we get. So the more we increase the number of terms, the more accurate our result is. Before we start calculations with Fourier series, let's take some warm-up activity by evaluating the integral sine n pi x over l, then sine m pi x over l on the interval negative l to l for n not equal to m and see the result we get. So to evaluate this integral we use this property or this expression for sine a sine b. We let a equal n pi x over l and b equal m pi x over l. Then this integral now becomes 1 over 2 into bracket cos n pi x over l minus m pi x over l all minus cos n pi x over l plus m pi x over l. Now we can integrate this easily or less factor and simplify the argument to get this expression. Now we can easily take the integral of this by doing it term by term. So taking the integral we get 1 over n minus m pi then sine n minus m over l pi x then we have minus l over n plus m pi then sine n plus m over l pi x from negative l to l. Now let's use the symmetric property by multiplying this by 2 then taking the interval from 0 to l. Now let's substitute to get this expression. By substituting for l we see this canceling this to give us this result and this result. Now Remember that sine n pi or sine remember that sine pi is equal to zero. So this will give us zero and this is also give us zero. And substituting for zero will give us this result. So the whole thing over here will evaluate to zero. Now we can also we can also verify this result for n not equal to m. Then the same thing applies to this integral also. You can do this or you can perform this activity on your own. It follow the same procedure as we did. Then also this also give us zero, zero. So these properties are very very important in Fourier series. 
so you should make yourself conversant with them before we start calculating or before we start serious business with Fourier series.